um, good afternoon. So like I promised, the sewing process for your body, like this is the proper process on how to sew it. So the first thing I did was to transfer, use my pattern to cut my fabric, as you can see, and I transferred all necessary that on my pattern to the bodies. So you can see that I have my that here, my my shoulder that, my waist that, and I replicated the that too at the back. So I did the same thing for the back, and I replicated the that as well. So now to the facing, I'm going to turn it like this. You can see I cut my facing a little bit shorter because um, I don't want it long all the way. But if you want to do a full lining, you can extend everything straight up. But this is just my facing, which is going to be a little length longer than um, a little bit shorter. So in case you don't know, you are confused on what length to use, this is what you should do. From your underarm point, just measure 8 cm down. That's going to be the length, total length of your facing. 8 cm down from your underarm point and square out a line. So you cut it out like that and transfer all necessary that that you have your shoulder that you transfer it back on the facing. As you can see, I transferred my that on the facing. I have it. So I did the same thing for the back. My shoulder does not have that. In a situation whereby your shoulder has that, you have to transfer your that to as well to the facing. So let's go to the sewing process. Okay, so now, as you can see, what I did next was to hold my darts. So I held all necessary darts on my board, on the fabric, that's your bodies. So, and this is the layout after I've um, held my darts. I have the front, I have the back piece, and I have my facing, the front, and the back piece. So the next step is to join my front shoulder to the back shoulder. So I'm going to place the back on the shoulder this way and run my stitch. I'm going to place the second piece of the back and run the stitch. So I'm going to repeat this process with my facing, whereby you place the back, you place the back shoulder of your facing and run the stitch on the shoulder. I'm done with the sewing of my shoulder. As you can see, I joined the shoulder. So what I'm going to do next is to open it up this way. And I am going to place the right face of my facing on it. So I'm going to make use of my pin to hold the neck all around. So I'm holding the neck together. And I'm done all pinning the neck. Then you come to the arm hole and pin your arm hole to all around. Opening your seam. You have to open the shoulder seam. So you set the arm hole. Then I repeat this process too with this side. So after pinning the arm hole and the neck, you take it to your machine and run a stitch using your sewing allowance so i'm running a stitch here and here okay so right now as you can see i have sewn my neck the arm hole 
the two arm holes i've sewn it and you can see i sniped the arm holes and the neck and the other arm the reason of snapping is for it to relax okay when you turn it to the right face because if you not snipe it it will just like it will be struggling it will fold and it won't relax well so make sure when sniping your own um clothes don't be careful so that you don't cut off your thread you don't snipe away your um, allowance so that's that the next thing i'm going to do is to bring it out to the right face so i'm going to turn it out from inside it's from the shoulder so i'm turning this side out to the right face So after pulling out, you take it to your ironing board and iron well. Like you press, steam press the neck and the arm so that it will relax well. So this is what I have. Can you see my front properly faced, the back well faced. So the next thing I'm going to do right here is to join the side so joining the side i'm going to bring the front and the back together like this then you flip your facing up so that your right face and the right the front right face and the back right face will face each other so you align the shoulder properly then i'm going to run this stitch with my side seam allowance so i repeat the same process for the other side so right now I'm done with uh, the side seam as you can see I'm done and um, I folded it down the next thing to do is to end your facing which I'm going to do just fold a little and end it all around to the left side. So I'm done with um, hemming of my facing. So the next thing to do is to is to sew close up my zip, a little bit of my zip allowance. So I'm using this zipper, and I will use the length to know the amount of space I'm the amount of length I'm closing. So if I have this zipper length, so I'm supposed to close from here. To so close from here. So I'm going to bring. Hello. So, like, all you need to do is just sew your zipper allowance. Up to that point. So my zipper allowance is one inch. Then I stop. So what I have left is where I'm going to fix my zip. So now fixing up your zip, I'm going to loosen out this sewing a little bit with um, by one inch or three cm, so that I can place my zip inside and stitch all the way down. So you have to change your footer, your regular footer to zipper footer, so that you'll be able to sew very close. But because um, I'm not with zipper footer here so I'm going to use the regular foot to do the sewing so
So the right face of your zipper is going to face the right face of the fabric. You can see the way we are doing it. Then you do the other side. So doing the other start side, you are starting from the down instead of starting from up. So make sure you use your pin to secure them in place. So to avoid obstruction, you zip down the zip a little bit so that you can finish up with your sewing. You can see I'm done with the sewing of my zipper. The next thing to do is to finish up with my facing. So turning it to the wrong face, wrong side. to put this my left part of the zip in between my facing and the fabric as you can see what I did so I'm doing that so that I can complete my stitch for the neck don't forget that I lose it out when I wanted to fix the zip so I'm going to sew it back putting the zip in between so I'll do the same thing for the other side I'm going to complete my sewing letting the zip be in between after I've still closed up the opened part that I losing out the other time so the next thing to do is to use my facing So I'm doing this like I'm sewing very close to the teeth of the zip all the way to that point. repeat this method this process at the other side other side here so you flip your facing on the zipper Stitching. I need to turn my facing out. Make sure you cut all threads. This way. Can you see? the center of the other side. So 
you can see the perfect finishing. This is what your inner facing should look like. This is what you should have. So right now, I'm going to, the last thing to do is my hem, which you hem your ending allowance with the amount of ending allowance left. So I'm going to stitch that all around when I'm done with last part of our sewing process i'm done with my emin and i'm going to turn this to the right face for you to see what it looks like so this is it this is my perfect bodies you can see well finished then you take it to your ironing board and it impress it. So I have my zip. So this process, you can use it for a dress. All you need to do is just increase the length of of your facing to your dress length. But it's not necessarily for it to be this exact length as the dress. You can reduce the length a little bit before your and your main dress length. So. That is it.